I also love the idea this could have once been some kid's favourite toy. <laughs> and now it's just like, oh, what have you done? <laughs> just dynamite. So how, how did you actually get into circuit building? It was through New Deal, like, like I had to say, sort of start a business, like, so I was sort of unemployed musician for ages. Yeah. Uh, I needed to sort of get cash together that, from that. Um, that sort of forced me into finding something I could start a business in. Mm. And for ages I was going to do t shirts, but like, I've been wanting to do circuit bending for ages, thing, teen bits on the internet and things. Yeah. I had a bit, couple of things that I'd acquired from car boots, yeah. and uh, in the end, sort of, yeah, put the two together. I was like, right, yeah, <laughs> get the business going, and um, just kept on playing with it. Yeah. What was it, what was it about circuit bending? Uh, <laughs> so I'm a bit of an audio geek, really. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was getting well into glitch actually, and I always wanted to like find more ways of making weird just weirder and different noises. I'd accidentally circuit bent a few times like sort of before I knew what it was. Um, once I left a Furby in a freezer, or in a fridge actually, and accidentally. <laughs> it was only meant to be a few, few minutes but I forgot about it and when it came out the batteries were all cold and it was doing like kind of garbling. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. But I didn't know what it was at the time. But yeah. when did you? When I was fourteen, I put like an audio out on my Atari. Uh, that was from a magazine. But I suppose always like yeah, I, don't know, I suppose thinking everything is kind of moddable now. Yeah, is like it's like that sort of concept. Yeah. <laughs> No one saved America sniffing cocaine Jiggling your knees down tight in the rain Snows in your nose, you catch cold in your brain The cool noises. Yeah. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Um, <laughs> yeah, just the fact you can make noises that no one's ever heard before is ultimately attractive. I've been working with conventional instruments for over 15 years and I was getting a bit frustrated with the fact that I sounded like everyone else. So to add noise that doesn't sound like anyone else is kind of cool. And then these two are tone switches. Uh, and this is a built-in LFO, so... Um, I think the beauty of circuit bending is that you, need, you don't need to know anything about electronics, but it comes through. The more things you bend, the more knowledge you gain mm. as to how things work. But I think you have to look into it a little bit as well. I mean, that's pretty much what search engines are for. You can look up different types of chips and different components and then read more about it. And then the electronics knowledge just comes from that. Um, but I think circuit bending kind of, you start off with that and then you kind of want to do a little bit more. So you end up building more things as well. And obviously like that sort of thing, you've got to kind of have the background knowledge and to, to progress with. Mm. Maybe. But neither of us have any qualifications oh, yeah. electronics whatsoever. No, this is. Not. I mean, I, I I haven't sold at anything on like since since I was at school in my first year, mm. sold in like little blinky LEDs and shit. So this is like, this is like worlds apart. I feel like I've progressed a lot. <coughs> I had a job for um for a while repairing laptops and games consoles, but that was a product of circuit bending rather than the other way around um, in that had the solving skills and solved it all day anyway um, and it's something that if you don't do it all the time you kind of 
skills fall off. <laughs> so, uh, your skills don't fall off. Skills fall off. <laughs> so, uh, fall off. They fall out, if anything. Yeah, your skills fall out. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I had a job doing that for a while. I wasn't very good at it. And there's a lot of people walking around with quite dangerous laptops. <laughs> <laughs> but that kind of pleases me that I might... Explode someone. I was going to say I might be sat in a coffee shop. And someone might explode, but that's never uh, going to no, happen. No, that's, no. that's almost verging on terrorism. I hate that guy.